hi guys and welcome back to another video my name is courtney if you don't know me already now this video has been recommended to me a lot actually this is marcus luttrell lone survivor speech so i believe lone survivor is a movie based on a situation where he was the lone survivor in the military in a battle i'm not sure which one though I'm really not sure if I needed to watch like a prerequisite video to this, but we're going to check it out. It is just a speech, um, so I'm sure I'll be able to follow along. Um, let me know what you guys think down below and let's get into the speech. Those of you who've seen the movie that fall we did, this is where it all started, right there. And we we pinballed through this this uh, grove of trees for about 200 yards. I landed on my back, and I broke my back in multiple places, broke my pelvis, and Mikey landed on his face. I remember he crushed his face pretty bad because oh when he sat up to look at me, it was you know all bloody or whatever. He turned around. Well, that's when they hit us with the rockets and the mortars, and our world just kind of started blowing up around us. Well, that's it was time to go to work. All right, and at no point in time did, was any of our, my teammates afraid of anything. At no point in time did anybody stall in the door, so to speak. They didn't, they didn't kind of back up and say, hey, I don't want to be in this. It was, hey, this is what we're here to do. Let's do this. About an hour and a half into this, this gun battle, oh Danny had broken both his femurs. He had a compound fracture on one of his tip fibs and he had been shot four times that I know of. So I was dragging him. In the movie, they kind of portrayed this the right way, but except for one piece, and that's where we were separated. He didn't die alone. Any, any and all my guys that got killed, I was right there. Well, I picked him up over my shoulder to take the brunt of this fall. And when I turned around to take the fall, I spun him right into a bullet. I shot him right in the back of the head, blew his head off, killed him right then and there. Well, I wasn't ready for his dead weight. And when he fell over the top of me, it collapsed me. And I flipped off of this, this rock embankment and face planted into this boulder. I broke my nose real bad, shoved it through my face actually, and I bit my tongue in half and I swallowed it. And that totally incapacitated me. I was, I was on all fours, I mean like a bitch, trying to throw that thing up, man. I finally got it up, I, bit, I put it in between my teeth and bit down on it again so I wouldn't swallow it. And Mikey was out on this boulder, just like the movie, he was out on this no cover, no nothing, and crawled out to this, this embankment to make our uh, sat phone call. He was sitting up and took two rounds through the chest, spun him like a top, dropped him on his face. And this bothered me. He was my best friend. Had been for a long time. We've been through oh a lot God. of stuff together. I mean, I, you know, I loved him. I never told him I loved him while he was alive because guys, we just don't do that. But, you know, I'll, I'll see him again soon. Probably one of the first things I tell him. And then he started it's screaming right. my name for help. You could hear a lot of AK fire into his area, a lot of uh, RPGs. I mean, they were laying it on him pretty hard. Cause I couldn't get to him, it was too steep. And he had that sat phone up next to his ear and he got shot right between the shoulder blades, dropped him right on his face. Normally, to break a Navy SEAL, you have to kill us. That's why we make it into our training, that's why we can call ourselves SEALs because the only way you're gonna break us is to kill us. I snapped right there, like a twig, like a little bitch. I couldn't handle, I couldn't stand to hear him die. They killed him. I never saw him again, ever. I caught up uh, with Axe. He was a couple hundred yards below me, and an RPG hit behind him, separated us. Blew him one way, blew me another. I never saw him again for the rest of my life. It knocked me out again. When I came to, I was laid over the backside of this rock. I was upside down. My pants, med gear, kit, GPS, compass, all that stuff was gone. I had a harness on, had one magazine with 11 rounds in it. I went out there with 13 magazines of 30 rounds. I rolled over. I was paralyzed from the waist down. I started crawling, pull, using my elbows. I started pulling myself through the dirt into the side of this ravine. Well, I got up, man. The sun was going down. And I just started, I started to crawl. Well, I was in bad shape. I was dying. I didn't know what to do. And I was laying in this tree, uh, looking at the moon and feeling sorry for myself. And I must have laid there. And I was thinking, my brother's a Navy SEAL, too. I got a twin brother. He's a Navy SEAL. Wow. Oh my God. And I was thinking about him a lot and my teammates and everything that I'd 
uh, all the training, training that I'd family. been through. And I, I laid there, I was like, you're being a bitch, get up, let's go. That's exactly what I said. What was I gonna do, lay down there and die? I wasn't gonna do that. I definitely wasn't gonna feel sorry for myself. And I kept thinking, I was like, all right, I'm still alive, man. I'm alive. I mean, they, they fought and died. I'm still alive. So the mission's still on. Let's go. So I reached out and I grabbed a rock. And I reached out as far as I could and I drew a line in the dirt in front of me. I was like, I'm gonna crawl to that till my feet hit it. If I'm still alive, I'm gonna do it again. And that's what I did. I'd draw a line, crawl to it, my feet would hit it. I'd that's fall down a hill, a I'd crawl up another hill, line. I'd draw another line. And I did that for seven that. miles. Wow. When it was an option, when I was out there and I was shot, I laying down there, and somebody was like, well, why didn't you quit? Because that's not an option, all right? That's not what I am. You understand what I mean? So if I, I'm a Navy SEAL, I'm a gunfighter, I'm a, I'm a warfighter, and if I get shot and I can pick myself up, I'm gonna pick myself up to you shoot me again and kill me. Basically, I'm not gonna stop, ever, period, until you take everything away from me. You strip it all away. That's the way we're trained. From the day you go into training, they take away everything that you are and that you ever were and they mold you back up to what they want you to be. You accept the fact that you're a, you're a football player. So why in the hell would something prevent you from doing that and doing what you're supposed to be doing on the field? That wasn't my job. The Navy SEAL wasn't my job. That's what I am. If you're a damn football player and a good one, that's what you are. It's not what you do. And if you're a part of something to where you, your whole livelihood and everything you depends on another man, that's where that bond comes from. Everybody knows that a bond is forged in adversity, right? But rely on each, on each other, man. Love each other as a team. Ain't nobody out here that you ain't willing to sacrifice everything for. Every day, man, what do you got? You got some, you're gonna walk through me, man. You better bring some help. That's what you gotta think. Cause I got my boys right here. We're about to find out who's, who's what. That's where you gotta be, man. Like it's gonna take everything you got to get to the end of this field. You better pray to God you put the work in. Because I have. Right. Wow. It's videos like this that really bring you down to earth and realize what real people go through. And the Navy SEALs, for example, I cannot even begin to imagine, right? Absolutely not begin to I could not begin to imagine being in that situation your all your teammates getting killed your best friend dying and you still have to keep going and didn't he say he like he'd broken his hip or something and he was paralyzed at the time and he ended up being by himself crawling seven miles you know I just cannot imagine I'm going to watch this movie actually um, and you know get the full picture of what happened I do really like movies that are true military stories because you can learn about it and you can really be put in this situation you know you can only imagine you know i actually didn't know this was a movie actually the first movie that i ever watched that actually got me interested in the military particularly the u.s military was the american sniper i watched it a long time ago um and i usually don't like action movies right but this one just it really just hit me different than any other movie before it really opened up my eyes to the realities of individuals in war um, fighting for their country the kind of decisions that they have to make the kind of sacrifices they go through i think it um, showed that really well and obviously that was a really sad end to the movie to the story the real life story but let me know what you guys think about the movie i'm for sure gonna watch it and learn more about the ones who did die in battle i just think about them right obviously but also their families back home it's just so so beyond devastating and sad again i cannot begin to imagine the pain i 
you know it's just the sacrifice that especially navy seals go through you know like it's just so so selfless so um yeah this one looks like a very special story that's for sure um but yeah let me know what you guys think about the movie first of all and the speech um i'd love to hear your thoughts or any more information if you want to add that down below obviously this was only a six minute video it's okay if you want to tell me as much information as you can i'm not gonna call it spoilers obviously because it's a real life situation and um i would just love to learn as much as i can about it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really really appreciate you tuning in um and yeah apart from that i will see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.